This is Renee Collins and Whitney Aikie, and welcome to Overtones. Everyone, you are listening to the 30th broadcast of Overtones on WLXU 93.9 FM, Lexington Community Radio. We are coming to you today from the beautiful and historic Lyric Theater in the great city of Lexington, Kentucky. I am Renee Collins, your host, and this week I am joined, as I am every week, by singer-songwriting extraordinaire Whitney Aikie. Let's all welcome Whitney Aikie to the show, everyone. We have just listened to the sounds of Lexington's Pop Band of the Year and local music scene sensation Brother Smith, who open our show each and every week with their hit song, Happy Tune. And Whitney, the theme today is Singing Between the Lines. Brother Smith is just another example of some of these amazing musicians in Kentucky who do this so incredibly well with their original music, and they are giving us more opportunities to listen locally than ever before. And today's show is no exception with the songwriters who will be joining us. Whitney, before we introduce our guest, you and Ray have been back in the Shangri-La studios with the amazing Dwayne Lundy. So let's recap. What's been going on with your CD? Yeah, we are so excited. We have finished all the vocal tracking. So that's like the last tracking step for us. And now we are entering into the mixing phase, which is kind of frustrating for me because I have like nothing to do with it. I have no idea what's happening. But um, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll have something out. It's a really an amazing process, isn't it? Because I think a lot of people just pretty much listen to a song on the radio and they don't really probably consider what goes all into the making of a CD. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It feel, it felt like work. Dwayne's awesome, though, and the guys on the album are so awesome. So it was a great experience and a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, hard work, long days. We are looking so much forward to the CD being released. Is there any time frame on this? You know, not yet. No, I'm saying fingers crossed by um, the end of November, but it's kind of out of my hands right now. We're just going to have to, we're all going to have to text Dwayne Lundy and say, get on that project. (laughs) And how many times have you been asked that question over the last few months? (laughs) Yeah, uh, multiple times a day, but that's okay. I'm I'm waiting as well, holding my breath. Well, we cannot wait to hear the results of all of this. And I'm so glad you're back with us today. It's good to be back. In essence, this is why we've gathered all of you all here today to contribute to and listen to this rich, vibrant musical explosion of talent that is happening right now in the state of Kentucky and in the great city of Lexington. And Whitney, how excited are we both today about this outstanding lineup for this special edition of Overtones, appropriately titled Singing Between the Lines. It's going to be an awesome show. Whitney and I are welcoming guests today who have a broad range of musical artistry and significant contribution to the local music scene here in Lexington and beyond. And we are going to hear some of them sing the songs that they sing and share some of the stories they're sharing with this community. And we are also going to talk to them today about how they listen locally and who do they most enjoy listening locally to. So without further ado, here is your Kentucky Overtones starting lineup. Our first guest from Harlan, Kentucky, we have Tyler Smith. 
Also from Wilmore, Kentucky, we have Abby Hamilton. Y'all ready for this? From Middlesboro, Kentucky, we have Jordan King with us today. And we are going to start this all off today with a musical offering from Tyler Smith. Let's give Tyler a round of applause. So Tyler, you were recently on the Twisted Cork Songwriters in the Round stage. Thank what was you, that man. experience like for you? It was a lot of fun. Um, I, I felt starstruck. <laughs> yes, you mentioned that. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. <laughs> I use that term quite a bit when referring to the music here. Oh, Who yeah. were you most starstruck by that night? Well, that night it, it, it worked out to where I was um, playing on stage with uh, Garrick Howell and uh, Sean Whiting. And I've been listening to Sean for a little while now, and he's just incredible. And Garrick, he um, gave me a copy of his CD that night, um, Unprofessional, I think is the name of it. And it was really great. You know, I, I was listening to it on the way up here, actually. It was really good, too. So, you know, shout out to Garrick. <laughs> good job, man. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, I thought, you know, whenever I first walked in, you know, the, the place was pretty packed already. And I said, wow, there's a lot more people than I expected to be here. <laughs> yeah, we do. It's one of the most popular events. It there. really is. It's my favorite by far. Well, it's, it's a lot of fun. You know, I was really grateful for the opportunity to be on it, for oh, sure. We appreciated you being there. <laughs> yes, we sure did. And we're going to be talking with you more later in the show. But what do you have for our listening audience today to enjoy in the opening ceremony of episode number 30, Singing Between the Lines? Well, um, I actually came out with this song on a, uh, an EP back in 2016. Um, I made a um, I made a gospel record because I used to play, you know, all Christian music, and you know, over time I've expanded more. But this song, it was on that. It's the opening track for that um, EP, and it's called "Thank You for the Rain." And you know, it's just talking about being thankful for the good times and the bad times, you know, and just being thankful to be alive, really. So that's what this song is. Here's Tyler Smith on Overtones. He lies awake at 418 in the morning. He don't know what they're gonna do. Cause he ain't always been a saint And that's for sure But his heart's always true He's got a family to feed And a job to keep Somehow they've always gotten by But this time it seems like The walls are caving in So he closes his eyes And he says Thank you for the sunshine Thank you for the rain Thank you for the good times And thank you for the pain Cause it all makes me stronger Strong enough to stand Against what hard times come my way Thank you for the rain He sees it every day And even when it seems like the bad guys always win He'll close his eyes and he'll say Thank you for the sunshine And thank you for the rain And thank you for the good times And thank you for the pain Against what hard times come my way Thank you for the rain And now a 
it seems like things are trying to turn around and they're getting better every day but even when they're fat and happy they always get along he'll close his eyes and he'll say thank you for the sunshine and thank you for the rain thank you for the good times and thank you for the pain cause it all makes me stronger strong enough to stand against what hard times come my way thank you for the rain So we thank you for the rain and that song, Tyler. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. We are going to hear more from Tyler later in the show, but for now, stick around as we will be back with Wilmore, Kentucky's Abby Hamilton.
We are back, and you've just heard the beautiful music of the very beautiful Abby Hamilton from Wilmore, Kentucky. Let's welcome Abby to the show. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Abby, what was the name of that song and also the story behind that song? That song's called Waitin', which is on a little demo EP we put out last year called Broke Girl. And it's really just kind of about um, waiting on, you know, in a relationship, someone to just tell you that they love you instead of dragging you along, which is very autobiographical for me. So <laughs> <laughs> it's that classic, like, I don't think you're alone in the room. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's that kind of classic 18 year old first love kind of. All right, tell me the truth. Well, it's just absolutely yeah. beautiful. Oh, Thank I loved you. it. I loved it. I'm a huge fan of Abby and what she does mm. as a person and musically. Mm. So tell us, Abby, how has your music career, the path that you're on, started? It's not been too long that you've been on this journey, has it? Yeah, no. I. It's interesting because I wasn't really the little girl that thought she was going to be a country singer. Like, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't really until college that I found out songwriting could be a career and, like, you can make money doing that. And I was like, shoot, <laughs> that's what I want to do. Like, I want to write songs and have other people cut it. So that was really, you know, three or four years ago. And I had, it's a long story, but I had a, one of my best friends and co-writer at the time could play guitar. I couldn't play guitar. And I was like, I had these songs. Um, never showed really anybody that material for, I mean, honestly, about two years. Um, Because my thought was to take it to Nashville, maybe. Um, And then I saw what was happening here in Lexington, and I was like, I want to be a part of that, you know? So, um, yeah, I just started playing shows at Owls and Green Lantern about this time last year, really. That's amazing. And it's really paid off, yeah. I find it interesting that you said you wanted to be a songwriter and have other people cut your songs because you are a stunning performer. Oh, um, is there any dream of, of you doing your own songs or is it all about being the writer? Well, th- th- now there is. <laughs> like before, before I just, I mean, petrified to get on stage. I didn't really grow up doing that. I mean, the most I did was sing in church. So for me, it was like, you know, super scary but I knew the only way to get my songs heard was here was to play them yeah that's true um just because there's not really people are mostly singer songwriters here you're not really going to find an artist coming out of Lexington that's totally willing to cut other songs which I know they're out there but now I mean now there is you know the dream would to be the like Lori McKenna kind of Natalie Hemby thing of to I you know, Lori. Out. Lori's, she, Lori is she, my girl. She's amazing. If you haven't listened to Lori McKenna, she has some major, major cuts by yeah. very famous people. But her stuff that she saves for herself, I think, is the best. Yeah. So, um, how did you get over your stage fright? Let's talk about that a little <laughs> bit. Exactly. Yeah. Oh God. I don't know. I you know, there's some rituals I do now. Like I kind of pump up a little bit before getting on stage. Um, but I'm honestly, it's cause I'm surrounded by people in my band that I trust and love. So they don't really fluff me up, but they're incredibly affirming, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Um, but there is this place that you kind of have to enter, I think on stage, which everybody probably knows of just like, there's this empowerment that happens and you're like, yeah, this is my home, you know? So once I got past the first couple shows of just like shaking the whole time, I was like, <laughs> I love. um, I don't know. I still do that. It's been like almost 20 years. <laughs> yeah. What's funny is like at the Burl, I'm cool as a cucumber. At like riders rounds, things like this, I'm like, oh my God, hi. Like, <laughs> it's the more intimate things that are the most intimidating. Yeah, it really is. For sure. So Abby, what are you going to nervously sing for us yeah. next? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to sing uh, kind of a sad ballad called When Your Love Hits Me, which is off that EP called Broke Girl. Wonderful. Here is Abby Hamilton on Overtones. I remember the first time your touched my skin My world changed so quickly 
heart first I fell in You laid a claim to my body And with that I was yours No need to say sorry When I'm begging when your love hits me, I see stars shining above me. When you love hits me, I feel weak. I Beautiful song. <laughs> I can't even. This young lady, you're I know. magical. Mm. You are That's indeed. Nice. Oh my very goodness. Nice. <laughs> so tell us, Abby, who are you listening locally to lately? Locally? Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with John R. Miller's new record. Mm -hmm. That one is so, so, so good. I just saw Darren Hackard play a Kick in It, and he's unbelievable. He's so much fun, too. Love it. He's so funny. Yeah. So talented. Um, and Wayne Graham's new stuff, I've been really into that. Um, also, um, Lilac from Lexington, they're an indie group, and they're really awesome. I really love 
the writing yeah. that Gideon does in that band. Our list is increasing. Whitney. It is. I've been thinking about Lilac because I love Zach Martin so much. I oh had lunch gosh. with him yesterday, and he's in that band Their as crew well. is awesome. Like, Elizabeth, who plays fiddle for them, and she she's an incredible writer in her own right, and Gideon's a great writer, too. They're just, they're a fun crew. So you mentioned the Burl. Do you feel like the Burl is kind of like your home base here in Central Kentucky? Oh, yeah. Yeah, where and where are the other places that you enjoy playing? I love Willie's. Um, Willie's has been, you know, there have been a few bands here that have been super kind to me, like the John Hatfield Band and um, Brother Smith and Grayson and Nick Jamerson have just allowed me to open for them over the last few months at Willie's. And um, I really love Green Lantern, like nothing can beat Green Lantern for me. It's like that bar. <laughs> it's a great spot. I, I do. I love hearing where everybody loves to perform yeah, here. Yeah, I love just, Green Lantern. Right and along. the reasons behind that, right? Oh, yeah. Each of them have their charm in a very different way. Yeah, and I started at Owls. Like, Owls was the place that I played for like three or four months straight. And then the Burl's kind of become my home over the months. So. Well, we are really glad that you've called this place home today. Oh, thanks. I'm glad to be here. Do you, have, do you have another one to share with us? I do. Okay. I have a new song that's not really out anywhere. Um, it's called Trailer Park Queen. It's about my Aunt Lulabelle, who's lived in a trailer her whole life. <laughs> Sounds delightful. She's a character, so this is really for her. Um, yeah, this is Trailer Park Queen. They laughed in my ear and called me fun. Laughed in my clothes and said I had no money I always said I'd prove them wrong I always said I'd show them all But while they were gone Sipping on red wine Married a man who handed me the keys Now he's bowing down to me So I've got a double wide On a double lot With a sign that says trespassers Are gonna get shot He's on his second round of you know what While I'm hanging up the laundry just cooking in the sun I'm eating granny's fried chicken off a of Corel plates And I'm smiling to myself saying let them eat cake They never thought that I'd amount to anything Well guess what, you're looking at the train
guess what? You're looking at the trailer park queen. I loved all three of those songs. Oh, that was fantastic. I'm also a little bit hungry now after hearing about <laughs> what's being served, right? <laughs> so that really takes me back. <laughs> really great job. Thank you so much for being with us here today, Abby. Thanks for having me. We will be back with more music from our artists in the studio today, including the music of Middlesboro, Kentucky's Jordan King, coming up next on WLXU 93.9 FM, Lexington Community Radio. got back from Austin Daddy told me son slow down laying down and not exhausted ain't all it's talked about I feel I'm growing older but I ain't growing too wise running wild when the weather's colder sleeps the last thing on my mind well, this year I'll be turning Five years old, still I often sit and wonder. Just where did those years go? I've had my share of laughter, and I've felt my share of pain. I've seen my days where the sun was shining, I've been caught out in the Restless takes a toll, but it's the only thing I know. And I'll be coming down like an unforgiving rain. Well, in the morning I'll be gone, off to sing all my songs. Cause ever since I left, I have to stay. up and unwind I laugh just as hard at stories that I've heard a thousand times I show my brother and my sisters just how life was meant to be but sometimes I hope they never Restless takes a toll, but it's the only thing I know. And I'll be coming down like an unforgiving rain. Well, in the morning I'll be gone, off to sing all 
wake up as a stranger every having a great day aren't we Whitney indeed <laughs> we are back and you are listening to WLXU 93.9 FM and you just heard from the marvelous music of Jordan King let's welcome Jordan to the show everyone thank you glad to be here Jordan I really like that song what was the name of that song a uh, song called Austin and uh, it's just kind of about I guess uh, not you know not losing sight of you know why I got into this and you know just kind of not forgetting where you came from. It's a it's a song that I wrote to my future self, and it will always be to my future self. So it always remains relevant to me. So. So does Austin have significance to you? <sighs> no, it's um. Well, we actually I was almost moved to Dallas as a kid, and um, I guess just Texas, you know, and so I threw that in there. Well, I really, really like that. I like what the song represents as well. You're a first-time guest on Overtones, but you've also graced the Twisted Cork Open Mic I have, Stage. One time, yes. Tell us what that experience was like for you. It was, uh, it was, it was really great. I mean, it was. I, I didn't really know what to expect it being like an open mic night, or you know. But it was a, uh, it, it was, it felt really professional in there. Is kind of the vibe that I got. You know, it wasn't just like an open mic night, but I, I, I enjoyed being a part of it. And, uh, can't wait to come back. Well, we can't wait to have you back. So, Jordan, where else can we hear you? What, where are you playing around? Um, as far as Lexington goes, um, I do a lot of uh, Jay Renders and, like, uh, Henry Clay's and um, in Georgetown. I love Slauncha. That's one of my favorite places to play. Um, but those are just a few of the places around here in the Lexington area. I play a lot back home, too, so, you know, if you're ever in Middlesbrough, Kentucky, come come find me. Fantastic. And Whitney, let me ask you, what do you like most about Jordan's music? Um, I think the first time I had heard Jordan was at the Twisted Quirk open mic, and um, we always have a wide variety of music there on open mic nights, and it's, in my opinion, always very good. But um, the thing that I look for there are people who um, command the stage without trying to command the stage and that and that's the first thing that kind of popped out to me about Jordan clearly he's very talented he's a great songwriter he's a great singer but more than that when he started singing regardless of the fact that we were busy or whatever like I was like okay I'm listening to this guy right now and that's magic yeah and everybody great. else stopped to listen absolutely as well. yeah I would agree with that I think stage presence is a really important aspect of yeah, performers a lot of it you have the confidence and sometimes it's hard to it's hard to get sometimes. Mm -hmm. We are really glad you visited with us at the Twisted Cork open mic. And what do you have to sing for us next? Um, I'm going to do a song called Run Boy. And I uh, also played it at Twisted Cork. And what's the background of this song? Uh, growing up, and especially getting into like high school, um, I was not the, the wildest child, but I had a few buddies that were. And um, I was just kind of taking some things from stuff that's happened to them and uh you know put it in a song but when i write i like to I like for my song to, to have meaning and a point and i was like well what you know how can i kind of tie this together to where it's maybe got a little bit of a deeper meaning than just running from some poor girl's dad or something you know like so uh yeah this song's called run boy here's jordan king on overtones Out on the edge of town Where the moonshine stairs cannot be found Back in a hunter where the cops don't know And the third rows go where the grass won't grow my road back in a hollow where 90 
to go Without the night of Greasy Creek Till the sirens in the city start to ring Baby down to Cannon Creek First time I saw what was underneath Killed us a bottle of homemade wine Then we turned off in her daddy's headlights He said, oh You better run, boy You better run coming down you better run boy you better run you better run before that long long arm starts coming down Soon my day will come Get caught by what I'm running from Me down in my final place And I stood death right in his face And he'll say, oh So, Jordan, I know that you hang out a lot with the Trip and Roots fellas. Yeah, those are some of my really good friends. I did um, not know that. Yeah, they're not yeah. just, you know, fellow musicians. They're they're really good friends of mine now. So, um, I try to get with them anytime that I can. It's interesting because this last song reminded me, like, of the style of music that they play. Right. And I almost, like, if I didn't know that you wrote it alone, I would say, like, you and Evan wrote it together. That was a great wow. song. I mean, well, to be considered, you know, he's a great songwriter. He's so, a great songwriter. Yeah, yeah to be a reflection of him is just incredible so so what have you got going on like what's coming up for you um well we're currently the number one thing right now is we're working on an ep so that should be out whenever it's done <laughs> yeah. same answer how it goes. Yeah, Rain it'll, get, right? it'll get out when it's done um and uh 
but just aside from that, just doing a few shows here and there when I can. Um, Saturday, uh, it all depends on the weather. I know this hurricane's coming in. Um, be in Frankfurt at the Kentucky River Jam. And then Sunday, I'll be in Union County, Tennessee. So Fantastic. Now, did you live in Nashville for a little while? I did live in Nashville. Well, I lived in Murfreesboro, which is, you know. Same thing. Same thing. Uh, I was a, <laughs> Another I went, borough, right? Yeah, it's another <laughs> borough. I just moved. Just moved. Um, I went to MTSU for a year and a half, and I went for music, and I got into the recording industry, and uh, I think it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be when I went down there. And um, That happens. Yeah, it... Uh, a lot of it was, I, I got really homesick, too. I'm a homebody. Um, but I just wanted to go and play music, and I was stuck in a classroom all the time, and I was just like, this is just not what I'm doing. And you know, and, and I had a lot of people saying, you know, well, you just need to go ahead and finish because you can make a lot of connections. And, and they probably were right, but me being 20 years old at the time, I was like, I want to, I just want to do a, you know, I've got I've got in my head what I want to do, so just let me go do it. And you know, but it took a lot of convincing, and uh, but finally, I got the chance to move up here to Lexington and try this thing out. So, well, we are so glad you've made yeah, Lexington your too, musical yeah. home. Absolutely. All right, Jordan. So tell us, who do you enjoy listening locally to? Oh my gosh, it's hard to pick out like a handful because I try to listen to as many. I just try to listen to as much music in general as I can, and um, I always put the, um, you know, like local musicians first. And there's actually a, a playlist I found on Spotify of like unsigned Kentucky artists, and it's just, oh, it's a, I mean, Sean Whiting's on there, Chelsea Nolan's on there, Josh Nolan, like all those people, anybody that's anybody in the music business here is on there. And uh, I've been wearing that out, and I've learned a lot of new music and a lot of new people that I didn't know. And um, so I, I try to listen to everybody. I can't really pick anybody out because if, if they're from this area, I'll listen to them. That's so, awesome. I that's had awesome. no clue about the Spotify. I did not either. I didn't either. I just found it. I just stumbled upon it one day. I was trying to make like a little playlist. and Somebody else had already done it. Listen, I struggle. Like yeah. I have the app on my phone. I do not know how to use it. So, yeah. yeah, we were talking, We could I probably think. use some lessons. Yeah, we need some Spotify <laughs> lessons along with Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat and Spotify yeah. are the two things that plague my mind. We'll put that out to our audience. All right. Yeah. <laughs> free. Anyone willing to do it for free. So, Jordan, could I ask you a question? What goes into your songwriting process? Um, a lot of criticism of myself. Uh, but um, I just try to write stuff that I would want to listen to. And... Um, you know, I think that's the biggest thing is um, back. Well, back to the criticism thing. As as far as that, I'm I'm just critical of my songwriting. Not really critical of myself, although I do know where my flaws are and where they're at. But um, I don't know. I just I just try to write what I think people would like to listen to, and that's really all it comes down to. Whether it be something that is catchy and fun to sing to, or something that's going to make you cry. You know, I just want everybody. When they get done listen, listening to a song of mine, just to feel something, anything. So. Well, it sounds like you have allowed your heart to help you both in your career path yeah. and in your songwriting it, process. It, yeah, and it took a lot of that because it took a, it was a lot of convincing myself that I could do this, and that's the biggest part. You know, is once you you got to tell yourself that you can do it. And you also have to block out a lot of noise as well. Listen, before <laughs> I moved up here. Um, so, well, something my dad told me a long time ago, and he said, you know, just get used to hearing this no matter what you do. So you're going to hear no more times than you're going to hear yes. And I've heard no so many times, and it's very discouraging. It, it can be very discouraging if you let it. But, um, you know, you just gotta, that's when you just got to take the yeses that you get and make the most of them. So. Yes, no's can be very motivating as well. They yeah. can be, yeah. They can be. There's that sense of, I'm going to prove you wrong, but, you know. Just, that's when you that's when you take those yeses and prove them wrong. Well, we are so glad you have said yes to being here today oh, yes. with us. Glad you guys said yes to allowing me. So. <laughs> Do you have another one to share for us before I have one you more. leave today? Yeah, I have one okay. more song. What's this one called? This one's called How It Goes. Okay. Any background? Um, it's about it's kind of a you know when when you're at the age I am, your mid twenties, you know, you kind of you come to a crossroads of Do I want to keep running around and all this or do I want to maybe settle down and 
you know, try to, you know, start a life somewhere with somebody or something. And uh, that's just kind of what this song was about, was just kind of that struggle that some people have with themselves, you know, do I, I want to go out and have fun while I can, but also, you know, it'd be nice to have somebody to go home to at the end of the day, so. And we are so glad that you're thinking about it now, Mm -hmm. so thank you for sharing this next song with us. Here is Jordan King on Overtones. The first quarter's down on this line for mine. This got me thinking a lot about time And how tomorrow's not promised Today is a gift And all my yesterdays may I never forget Now I'm staring down headlines And interstate signs With places to eat at Stop for the night Well I have been gone From home for so long I wonder if they notice That I'm even gone And I know that they say To run while you're young But I don't wanna be alone When I decide that I'm done Thank you so much for being with us, Jordan. It's a, it's a and we will be back to talk with Harlan's Tyler Smith. And he's also going to perform some of his introspective songs for us on here on Overtones, hosted by Renee Collins and Whitney Aki on WLXU 93.9 FM. Coming up next, after the break. The 
They say nothing good happens after 2 a.m. But I've proven them wrong time and time again. Cause it's 3.09 and you're on my mind Maybe I can see you just one more time I roll over hazy and I dial your name Come on over baby and make me feel sane you pick it up blurry and you hear my voice Now I've left you dizzy with a worn out choice And you say to me you're fine out on your own Your words breaking as you're hanging up the phone there's more to this than evidence has shown After 2 a.m. lying here alone After 2 a.m. lying here alone Wake up early from a night of hell Go to work and smile like I'm doing well And I hide these scars, hide a button-down shirt Words through the day bring up past hurts And they say to me I'm fine out on my own my words breaking as I'm hanging up the phone I take you with me everywhere I go After 2 a.m. lying here alone After 2 a.m. lying here alone And if I knew the words that would bring you back again I'd sew up my lips with needle and thread And if I could write the song that would melt your cold heart I'd set flame to this book I'm writing in Oh, it's clear to me I'm fine out on my own The memories of you fade until they're gone I'm smiling as I'm putting down the phone After 2 a.m. lying here alone after 2 a.m. lying here alone After 2 a.m. lying here alone <clears throat> Welcome back to Overtones on Lexington Community Radio and how awesome has it been to listen locally so far, Whitney? Oh, it's been wonderful. You have just enjoyed the music once again of Kentucky's Tyler Smith on a special edition of Overtones titled Singing Between the Lines. Let's welcome Tyler Smith back to the show, everyone. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, guys. <laughs> so it's, an, it's no secret that that's my favorite Tyler Smith song. I've told him, like, almost enough times to be stalkerish, probably. <laughs> but tell us the name of the song and a little bit about it. Sure. Um, that song is called After 2 a.m. Um, I repeat it multiple times during the song, and that's kind of the the theme that keeps coming back to it because that's kind of my that's kind of my songwriting time. 
you know, is, is really late at night whenever I have, everything is just absolutely silent. You know, um, where I live in Harlan County, um, you know, I just have my nice little piece there. It's almost, it, it, believe it or not, I have like two acres of flat land in Harlan, which is uh -huh. insane. You never find that, <laughs> okay? But anywho, um, you know, that's whenever it's after midnight like that and everything is just silent, that's when my mind can finally, you know, just be free to write down, you know, whatever comes to it. <laughs> so, Tyler, tell us, how would you describe your musical style to someone who might not have heard you before? People ask me that, and it's really hard because, um, you know, I, I have a twang in my voice, so it's a little bit country, <laughs> um, if, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, but then again, you know, it, it doesn't, you know, exactly fall into the, you know, country, you know, standard. Um, you know, uh, my mom says Americana, but I think Tyler Childers made that a bad word here recently. Isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, mean, I told seriously. people that I did, but now I'm ashamed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I've claimed Americana for a while, but now I'm kind of like, We're going to have to find uh, a new We're word. all kind of trying to re-identify, <laughs> right? I, I felt like it's just mountain music. Maybe if we just call it mountain music, it won't be offensive. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, you know, I don't know. It's just Kentucky jams, I How guess. How about Kentucky music? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. So who are you listening locally to? That's a very, very good question. I'm listening to a lot of people locally. Actually, I, I don't turn on radio or put in anybody famous, any, like really big and famous anymore, besides for like Jason Isbell. I listen to him a lot, but he's not really all that local. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. I like, um, who am I listening to? I like uh, I like the new John R. Miller, which everybody's raving about. Um, the new Jason St. Corn's really good. Yes. Golly. I mean, is that not just so raw? I mean, really, it's just him I and his voice, it. and it's so raw. It's so good. It's really good. Um, let's see. One more, because it's always good to name three people. <laughs> um, good people come in threes. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the truth. Uh, I speaking always of heard good bad people, things came in threes, but that's cool. We can change that here at <laughs> We can. Time. We can. Uh, I've, been, I've been following around uh, Luna and them for a while, Luna and Mountain Jet's been watching them for a while. They're really great, and they're, they're awesome. good people, too. They are so much fun. So much fun. So what what's coming up for you? Um, let's see. Well, I have I have three projects I play in. I play the solo stuff, you know, like you're hearing today. Um, then I have a uh, I have a essentially a cover band that I play in that helps me keep my guitar chops up. And you know, we're busy about every weekend. What's uh, the name of that band? Uh, Kudzu Killers is the name of that band. Yeah, and we we play a lot. I mean, we just played Bristol, Tennessee last night. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um, you know that was a that was a funny turnaround to go from Bristol to Lexington. You know, but um, I play with Kudzu Killers. I play lead guitar, and I'm kind of the side man in that band. And um, then I also have my solo band that plays uh, my my solo songs that I write called Tyler Smith and the Still Runners. Absolutely. So you kind of just do it all. Pretty he does. much. I and mean, you I, have kids. So how, have kids, how on earth? Yeah. We always ask the women, how do you manage family and your musical? And you also have a full-time job outside of music. I do. So I let, do. let's not just ask the women. Let's ask you. Yes. How, how do you get it all worked he has out? one today. <laughs> right. Well, let's see. How, let me just go ahead and give credit to my mother. My mother is a huge, huge help to me. Um, you know, she's very supportive and um, very... Uh, very helpful, you know, with childcare and things, um, you know, and where most of my gigs are on the weekends anyway, you know, I usually, you know, she's, she's able to help and all that. And I spend the weeks with the boys and all that stuff. So, you know, that's fantastic. Yeah. We got to give the shout out to the mamas <laughs> Yes, and the sure mama's mamas. I, I, sure I do, do love my mom. I really do. She's I good. love it. That's <laughs> awesome. I have a question. Absolutely. Do you do you ever leave Harlan alive, Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's here. Well, you know, he's I here. made it here today. How, how many times has he done this? You know, um, people ask me that a lot. You know, like whenever they're not from Harlan, you know, they say, "Well, did you leave there alive?" and all that. And you know, I think, I think the, you know, I try to take that saying a little bit into like a, a different direction, as to say, you know, there's a piece of you that you lose. Whenever, like, whenever you move out of Harlan, because you know I, I did it um, twice. I, I moved to Richmond two times, both for work, and you know I've kept on coming back to Harlan. But there was a part of me that, whenever I left Harlan, it stayed. 
you know, and then whenever I came back, I picked it back up again. And I, I, you know, I can't really explain what that part was, but it was just like, you know, you can take, you know, the boy out of Harlem, but you can't take the Harlem out of the yeah. boy, you know, kind of thing. That is a great song. I believe that Daryl Scott was in town last night, maybe. Oh, wow. Performing. I could be wrong was about that. Was that at the castle? I think so. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah that's a wonderful well, song. Well, it's a great song, and it's also a really great response to that question. Mm -hmm. Thank and, you. And... You know, I think it's described as a magnetic pull. We've all kind of talked about that. If we've left Kentucky or a city in Kentucky at one point, how there's just something very internally that pulls us back home. That's very true. It's very true. So what are you going to sing for us next to close out the show? Well, I have this song. And <laughs> speaking of my mom, um, this song is not about her. But um, she's never heard me play this song. And, <clears throat> you know, any time that I have songs that have a little bit of... Um, What's the word? Risque sub subject matter. <laughs> the mama close your yeah, ears. Is that what? She looks at very me and she's like, to you, Mal Tyler, I don't know. You know that I don't know about that kind of stuff. Um, but this one, you know, every time that I'm going to sing this song, I always, I always tell people, you know, there's a little bit of truth and a little bit of um, creative freedom behind every song. But honestly, there's no truth behind this song. It's just a story. Yeah. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening locally to Overtones on 93.9 WLXU. Let's hear one more time from Tyler Smith before we sadly wave goodbye to all of these amazing musicians on Overtones today. And here is Tyler Smith. <laughs> I've been driving Highway 80 Looking for that special lady With a tattoo and a freckle no one sees She's a looker, that's for sure, son But I can't proclaim to no one The love we're making is forbidden, wrong, and bad Because her husband's working late nights At the train yard on the rail lines He'd be furious, he'd probably shoot me dead He's been saving up to build a home Her daddy never gave her She's been asking me what you to paint the walls But some women wouldn't cheat And some would not have cheated Had they married men they loved or liked at least and that doesn't make it right That doesn't make excuses For these transgressions I've committed in the dark When he's walking out the front door I come knocking on the back He drives away And she's mine just for a time And I started out this dealing Just a burning with no feelings But we both knew love Was coming around the bend And now I'm trying to decide Just how the hell am I Gonna break the news to her this has to end And before I got too hasty She came to the door in laces I shut up and throw my caution to the wind well, Some women wouldn't cheat And some would not have cheated Had they married men they loved or liked at least and that doesn't make it right That doesn't make excuses For these transgressions I've committed in the dark We were getting hot and heavy 
When I thought I heard his Chevy in the front yard, but my ignorance prevailed. He walked in and discovered his loving wife was with another. A crime of passion landed him in county jail. And then the people of the town joined up and gathered round to mourn the loss of the poor unfaithful wife. That old judge and his jury convicted that man in a hurry. I lost my heart and my love that dreadful day. Well, some women wouldn't cheat, and some would not have cheated had they married men they loved or liked at least. And that doesn't make it right. It doesn't make excuses for these transgressions I've committed in the dark. And now I'm driving Highway 80, looking for that special lady. She is buried in a graveyard on the hill. And Lord, forgive this lonely sailor who sent that man up to the jailer. And now I decorate her grave on holidays. And now I decorate her grave on holidays. And now I decorate her grave on holidays. Thank you so much for being with us here. Absolutely. So, Whitney, this seems like a good place to end this edition of Overtones, Episode 30, appropriately titled Singing Between the Lines. And I would like to thank all of our guests, Tyler Smith, Abby Hamilton, and Jordan King, and all of you for making a choice to listen locally today. We're also going to officially say goodbye to summer with one last seasonal offering of Brother Smith's song for Saturday, a.k.a. Summer Breeze. And thanks to Brother Smith for not only donating the use of their song Happy Tune to open the show every week, but also allowing us to use this song to enjoy over the summer season. And this is Renee Collins and Whitney Aiki working in concert each and every week to bring you the best this great state of Kentucky has to offer music fans, reminding you that where words fail, music speaks. Have a great week filled with music, family, friends, and a lot of love. Listen locally. Goodbye, everyone. Tell me the secrets in the sun. Summer breeze. I swear I won't tell anyone. Drop is a boar, shoot the five and play the four and take the bottle out the floor and take a sip. I so serene, I didn't know that you and Grace was on this trip. But I'm sitting in a pick of past potatoes and the chicken in the glass will listen to some sweet and dry. A couple more, then we head up to the shore. Well, I said, I guess everybody and bye. Come on, sing to me, Summer Breeze. Tell me the secrets in the sun.
And I swear I won't tell anyone